All right, so we're almost nearing the end of this interior series that I'm doing. Um, today I'm going to be doing a breakdown of the last final steps that I kind of made. Um, and then next week we're going to be doing the final render and the post-production in Photoshop. So just starting out, I'm, I'm just going to be walking through um, the changes I made from last week. There were quite a few. Um, I didn't really intend to make these changes, but I figured to save you guys time, I may as well just spend a bit of time, get it looking good, and then walk you guys through it. So let's jump into it. So this is the scene here. Um, I have made quite a few changes when it comes to the actual um, arrangement of the room. There was initially a big curtain track running through here, but I actually, um, when I went into Cycles view and had a look at the overall lighting and composition, um, it just didn't really feel right. So I spent a bit of time, I'm just jumping into Cycles now so I can show you, but I spent a bit of time on the lighting and composition and the overall um, the overall values within the scene because that's super super important and it was just the curtains were too much of a focal point um so and that's often you know when you do a project and you you think it's going to look cool you 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 know you do it and it maybe doesn't work out quite like you intended but essentially this is kind of where it's at so um, there was pretty pretty big curtain track running through here and it was just overblowing the whole scene and it was just wrecking the composition so I made an executive decision and kind of created this this walkway running through here which I think is quite interesting um, I added a few other elements so I added this um, this painting which was just generated with AI so I just went on to um, stable diffusion I think um, it's quite a good good way to use AI I'm not really I don't really like using it when it comes to like actual rendering it's kind of I'm kind of against that but when it comes to like decoration and um, that kind of stuff you know why not so yeah and then I also um, added um, the if you guys go back to the previous episodes the the walls and ceilings and stuff were just white so I added this plaster kind of material um, it's like a Venetian plaster um, and I just find that it has a real nice earthy tone and it matches really well with the timber. Um, and yeah, so I guess last week we did the kitchen arrangement, so you guys don't need any, uh, you know, walkthrough for that. But just in, in general with the rest of the scene, I just added this kind of window here with a bit of a wall and a walkway and just controlled the, the, the light so it wasn't so overpowering. Um, so yeah, I think what we're going to do is spit out a render and then we'll, um, yeah, we'll get into it next week and do the final color, color edit. Um, but I just thought it'd be really useful to, um, walk you guys through the progress I made this week. And just so it's not this huge surprise and like, you know, these final tweaks that, you know, it sometimes takes hours to, to get it looking good. And, um, I don't want to bore you guys to bits while I test thousands of different options so yeah I hope you guys have found this found this useful it's a pretty short episode this week but um yeah I'm excited for next week because we're going to be finishing this project and then moving on to other cool stuff so stay tuned for that like and sub if you found this useful and you know, I'll see you guys next week